Hello, guys. We are going to work on Bible today. Going to finish up the healing and preaching, just a reading part of it. Uh, we're starting on page 97. Is where we ended up uh, last time, uh, where it says the next day, Annas, the high priest. That's what we'll pick up at. Uh, we're just going to read it, uh, discuss it in class. Uh, if you just want to read it on your own after watching this intro, uh, that's fine. Uh, you probably won't get as much out of it doing it that way. Uh, anyhow, that's where we are. So. All right. Yes, Carter. Can we read some of that? You can. You know what? We'll, I'll let you all read if you want to read. That's fine. I will try to. Uh, we're going to let your classmates read to you today, which is always exciting. Uh, so bear with me as I almost drop my iPad and try to walk around and let them read, okay? I think I have to switch it around now. Maybe I'll just go stand near them. You can look at me as they uh, read, okay? All right. All right. Carter's going to start us off. It's uh, page 97. Where on page 97? I gotta get over here so I can see. Say hey to Carter. Uh -huh. Let's see. No, right here. Right there. All right. The next day, Annas, the high priest, high pronounce that word. Which one? This one. Try to sound it out. Okay. <laughs> Caiaphas there and other go. members of the high priest family questioned Peter and John, saying, By what power or name did you did you do this miracle? Boldly Peter proclaimed, rulers and elders of the people, if we are being called to account today for the healing of this crippled man, then know this. It is by the name of Jesus Christ whom you crucified, that this man stands before you as a completely healed man. Peter then quoted from Psalm 118, 22, saying, Jesus is the stone you builders rejected. He has become the capstone. He declared that without question, Jesus Christ was promised Messiah, the Savior, the Redeemer, and that salvation from sin could be found through no other name. Peter didn't back down from his conviction that Jesus was the only way to God. He held firm to his belief, knowing that he could be killed by these men who had executed Jesus. The religious leaders were astounded at the courage of Peter and John. The apostles were just ordinary men who were not taught in the best rabbinical schools in Jerusalem. Yet the priests and Sadducees could see that the apostles had spent time with Jesus. The religious leaders conferred together and came to two conclusions. First, they concluded that the miracle was real. Too many witnesses had seen it to, to deny what happened. Second, they decided that the miracles in preaching about Jesus had to stop immediately. But what were they to do? Okay. So, all of a sudden, Peter, remember, who, who was it that denied Christ three times before he was crucified? Peter. Now, all of a sudden, he is like Mr. Bold. He is, he is not afraid anymore. He is standing up to the leaders of the church, and he is like, this is, this is, it was Jesus, it's in Jesus' name that this happened. The same Jesus that you crucified. Okay, so he is being very bold in his convictions now. What do you what do you think was the change? What happened? What do you think, Nick? When like Jesus came back, he like realized. That yeah, was, that probably had an impact. That probably had an impact. All of a sudden, you watched this man being crucified, and now here he is. He he, he is resurrected. That gets your attention. That gets your attention, and and that and the Holy Spirit comes up on them. Remember. Uh, and they are. They're getting bold and they're, they're, they're not afraid anymore because they understand that, okay, these men can indeed kill them. I mean, they did kill Jesus, but they're not afraid because they know that if they die doing what God wants them to do, there's a better life waiting for them. And they're well aware of this at this point in time. So they're, they're not going to back down. Why do you think the priests are so anxious to get it to stop? Why do Why do you think they they want these guys? Hey, don't be don't be preaching out here about Jesus. Don't be doing that. Don't get converting people. People are starting to believe about Jesus and all. 
Why, why do you think they, they're, they're worried about that? Oh, because then they'll lose their power. Yeah, exactly. They don't want to give up that power. Once you, once, power is a horrible thing sometimes. Once you get it, you don't want to give it up. You know, you'll do what you have to to hold on to it. We see that happening today, even. I mean, modern times, olden times, it doesn't matter. Yeah, power. People, people like that power. They get a taste of it sometimes. You want to read for us? Yeah. Okay. The religious leaders commanded the apostles not to speak or teach in Jesus' name. Peter and John looked straight at the teachers of the law and spoke without fear, saying, Judge for yourself whether it is right in God's sight to obey you rather than God. For we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. Not knowing what to do, the religious leaders there and Peter and John and then let them go. What else could the priest and seducers do with the whole city praising God for this miraculous healing? Peter and John went back to the believers and reported all that had happened. After the report, the other believers raised their voices loudly and praised. Then together they prayed, Lord, the religious leaders are threatening us and we are in danger. Help us, your servants, to speak your word with boldness. Please stretch out your hand and help us do miraculous things through Jesus' name. After they prayed, the whole meeting place was shaken and the believers were filled with God's spirit. They left with a new boldness to speak about Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, they kind of had the priests over the barrel, so to speak, right now. Because people in the town, had, they knew this guy, and he had been lame his entire life. And all of a sudden, Peter lays his hands on him, and in the name of Jesus, he cures this guy. Well, it was one thing when it was Jesus that was doing it, but now these are just ordinary men working through the power of Jesus and God. And so the people are starting to talk, okay? You think about it. This Christianity starts in just this very small section uh, in, in this little country, and it spreads throughout the world. Now, I don't know about you, but if I, I can start something right now, and it might spread a little ways, but eventually something else is going to come along that's going to occupy people's time, and whatever I start is going to fall to the wayside, right? But that didn't happen. It just continued to grow and it continued to spread. You see that through Christ. That's why it's happening. Okay, God wants this to happen, so it's happening. Okay, and you're not man, mortal man is not going to stop it. Okay, we can try, try our best to derail it, but you're not going to stop it. Okay, anybody else want to pick up for us? Carl, you want to turn up that? Um, far from being over, however, the trouble with the Jewish religious leaders was just beginning. The high priest and the Sadducees weren't going to give up so easily. But God had a plan. He would use the jealousy of the religious leaders to help the young church grow stronger and to spread the gospel message out from Jerusalem like an exploding firecracker. What trouble was ahead and how did the apostles and other believers react to the trouble? The trouble came upon the Jerusalem church quickly and fiercely, and the result was surprising. The word of the Lord spread, and the number of disciples increased rapidly. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I, can I say something? Sure, go ahead. If you see this, this is a test. Then type into the group chat, puppies, because puppies are cute. There you go. Your challenge of the day. Okay. I don't know if she said puppies or poppies, but puppies. I think it was puppies. Like, I don't uh, Poppies. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm confused. Okay, uh, well, if you're not part of the group yet, you, you apparently are missing out, okay? All right, how much more do we, I don't have my book in front of me, where, where are we at? Oh, oh, the, did she finish up? That. Okay, then we, then we are done. Okay, well, that was the end of the reading, okay? Um, about 10 minute video here by the time I wrap up. Uh, again, if you're if you're really cool, you're going to go to the little chatty thing and type in poopy puppies or something, okay? All right, bye.